Hey y'all, this your girl coming at you with another video. Um, I don't know if y'all watched the video that I uploaded last night when I said you need to watch out for this woman. Okay, this type of woman. This is the description and the details. Go watch that message. Um... How can I put this? I know when I posted on the community board the other day, a lot of y'all was like, you know, why don't you expose them? It's your content. Why don't you do X, Y, Z? Because every time that I try to expose somebody on this platform by actually directly sharing their videos, for one, I attracted more subscribers onto their channels than people seeing what it is that I'm saying. So I'm going to try to be as direct as possible with this particular person because this morning I was getting, it's time to start exposing. Because if you don't expose these people, they're going to keep on doing what it is that they do. Now, you can take what you want with this information that I'm about to give to you because... You got your own choice and free will, okay? But there is no way that you should not be able to see certain things in certain people or know certain things about certain people if you're watching me. Because I will assume that those that really watch and resonate with my messages, you definitely have that spirit of discernment. So... With that being said, I uploaded a video last night. And I'm going to tell you exactly the message that my spirit guide gave me. I was going to give y'all his name, but I feel like I shouldn't because this is a part of the problem. All right? Somebody has been criticizing you in an abusive and or angrily insulting way. Things have been hard to interpret or understand because you are the type to overshare even little details that should be kept to yourself. You simplify the most complicated. It is, I am that complicated it for a reason. He speaks a language only his children can understand what happens when a child go outside and tell the business that goes on at home. You have given the outsiders a key and with that same key, they lock you up with it. Their goal is to tame and collect. What does a robber do when he has been equipped but enters into a place that is already occupied? But even before then, they watch and scope things out. Be mindful of a pretty face loaded with cash. All right. In regards to that prostitute energy that I was talking about in this message last night, it don't have to be a streetwalker. It don't have to actually come in the form of a pretty face because you all know, even in scripture, the people that were considered to be prostitutes was people that was going after other gods. You know what I'm saying? Worshiping other gods. That could be a form of prostitution as well. Confirmation. Um, so what I want to talk about. Um, I woke up this morning and my spirit guide showed me this particular woman and I know that she's been watching me for a while. Okay. Um, and I guess this is why God was getting me to deliver the message last night so that there is no excuse on why some of the same message has come out of another person's mouth. Right. Cause I've done that before. You know, I've, I've set on messages and I wait and see if somebody says some of the same things that I, you know, said in a message that I haven't posted and that has not happened. But it's not until I post certain messages and then I'm hearing it once again. Going back to the monitoring spirit, the Leviathan, the snake, right? We are in the year of the dragon. A dragon is also considered to be a snake anyway, right? If we're going off of Revelation. So don't let that go over your head. There's a lot of snake activity that's going to be going on this year just because it's the year of the dragon, okay? <laughs> um, But along with the monitoring spirit, let's talk about familiar spirits, okay? A familiar spirit is a demon supposedly attending and obeying a witch. 
often said to assume the form of an animal. All right. I think I gave enough details right there. Okay. Somebody is calling themselves familiar. All right. And they may or may not consider themselves to be a witch. But don't let this go over your head. And it's often said that this that these demons or this demon is, is to assume the form of an animal. All right. So this person may be into cats, dogs, whatever. Right. And, you know, Satan knows how to play on people's minds, right? People love animals, right? They love the care for animals. They love people who own animals because um, they view those type of people as, oh, they, you know, they sensitive, um, they loving people, you know, because even psychologists will tell you a person that don't love animals, something is wrong with that person that'll let you know what type of relationship or how they feel about humans, right? But everybody don't know that. To get back on track. <sighs> Go watch the video that I uploaded last night. And go watch the video that this familiar energy uploaded this morning. Once again, a familiar is a demon supposedly attending and obeying a witch, often said to assume the form of an animal. What are people calling in when they give you all messages? Are they calling on the Holy Spirit or are they saying spirits? Also, <laughs> not even just that. Okay, you should not be dropping the time that you're watching nobody's videos in their comment section. And let me tell you why. All of a sudden, they asking for you to drop the timestamp in their comment section. Because ever since that I showed you all, okay, because some people, they was already doing or looking into these things prior to me doing it. But it was a very few, right? She... Did not start asking people to drop the time in her comments until she started seeing me posting the strongs that was relating to messages that I would upload based off of the duration. So going back to the message last night, when I said, my spirit guy said, um... What happens when your child go outside and tell the business that goes on at home? You have, been give, you have given the outsiders a key, and with that same key, they lock you up with it. So this is, and I know like this message went over a lot of people's head because what people probably thinking that the message was about, I guarantee you it was not about that. But only the children of God will understand why I was going with this message, okay? So, <clears throat> this would be a, a, a an example, okay? God is showing you different things in his kingdom. He's communicating with you in a lot of different ways. He don't communicate with everybody the same way. God has his own unique way of communicating with people. Sharing information with them, even what has not been documented in books and scripture, for an example, but if God shows you something and you get so excited to where you want to put other people or bring other people on board, knowing that um, these people are lost souls, they are wandering, they don't even believe in Jesus Christ. Therefore, how can you get to the father if you don't even accept his son? You know, that type of energy, right? So you sharing information concerning God's kingdom with these people and what are they doing? They taking it and locking you up with it. How they locking you up with it? Trying to play with your mind. Of course, they're not playing with my mind because I'm already knowing what this energy is about. 
And I thank God for the spirit of God that he has blessed me with because otherwise I would be going crazy and, you know, um, having people thinking that I'm crazy, but I know for a fact that I'm not. And I'm not going to talk about something that I have no proof. So like I said, go watch the video that I uploaded last night about the woman, the type of woman that you need to watch out for. All right. And also go watch familiar message. Just an FYI, the energy that I read last night, <clears throat> it had nothing to do with a masculine energy choosing between two women. What I said in that message last night was God had a plan against the Philistines. I already told you all what a Philistine is. These are people that are materialistic. All right. They have no understanding. Going back to the message that I gave early yesterday's morning. Something that's hard to interpret is hard for people to understand. Why? Because they're not meant to understand it. Holy Spirit. Please allow me to be the channel. Please protect my energy as I give my people these messages on today. What it is you have. Yeah, so they asking to drop the time in the comments section because they're trying to keep up with how I'm getting certain messages. We got friendship here. First card out. So y'all wanted to know who these people are. Today is day one of exposing. Go check out Miss Familia. All right, rationality. All right, so there's somebody around you that's going to try to rationalize or be rational with something. All right. Energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is somebody trying to talk somebody into something like, oh, you should be more rational. You should do X, Y, Z or something like that. It's concerning the energy, by the way. And this is the bladder, by the way. So... What does a bladder do? It releases, right? Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to try to come at you and talk about, oh, well, you know, you should do X, Y, Z to release that energy type shit. Like, no, okay? On the rationality, this is the seven of cups. Come on now. I know it may not seem like what I'm talking about and what I'm doing is rational, but this is right. Because we must expose the things that goes on in the dark so that it can be brought out into the light. Now, if you want to be cleansed and freed of those demons that you're messing with, I may have a solution for you. All right, freshness, transformation, and also dominance. Burnout at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so somebody is saying something about, oh, you know, um, they just they, they just need to uh, revitalize their energy or some shit like that, okay? As if you're the toxic one, okay? Because like I said, I'm getting something about releasing something, starting new with something with this freshness energy, Um changing something with this transformation or putting something or laying something to rest with the death all right and then it's like they only telling you this because they want to keep the upper hand in something with dominance and for some of you all this ten of wands energy this burnout energy is like they wanted you to be drained by constantly burdening you So it's like somebody saying, oh, you need to do X, Y, Z to re replenish and revitalize your energy. Next thing you know, you drain type shit and you don't know why your energy is being drained. It's because these energies that's around you, these energies that you're dealing with. All right. Yep. See, look, we got burnout and we got rest right behind that. And then we got stagnation. Somebody not wanting you to have movement. 
why they go out and they have this adventure, right? So because they can't beat you and because they can't join you, they want to burn you out so that they can proceed. That's what I'm getting, okay? Some of you all, you are just supposed to be burned out, right? Because they have stopped some sort of motion for some of you all. <laughs> Yay. So clarify a friendship. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles, okay? Be mindful of uh, some sort of new friend or somebody coming in, offering you something, saying that they want to work on something here with you, okay? This could be that very energy that I'm telling you all to watch out for because we got the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Give me one more for the Spirit Cups energy concerning friendship. Keep in mind, last night I said that these people, they talk behind your back because they're scared of you, but also that your enemies, the ones that really hate you, they be right in your face. chariot okay all right so i have scorpio energy with the knight of cups i have capricorn energy with the three of pentacles and i have the cancer energy with the chariot all right somebody's coming in they're saying that they want to work on something they're proposing something to you but then i see them running off okay strength card leo energy spoke about that lion energy last night they want to run off with your strength all right Clarify rationality. Yeah, Empress. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you're supposed to be the one that's, that's supposed to be rational, but you're the one that's creating shit. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Strong Taurus energy, by the way. All right, but you don't have to be a Taurus. You know, with that Taurus energy, this is stability. This is home. This is also having a little bit of material possessions, but you're not materialistic, right? This is about you creating and living off of what you're creating. Or being able to. But people wanting you to rationalize, leave something alone, hermit. Why? So that you can be stuck, stagnant, like I just talked about with this burnout energy over here. Clarify the sun. Clarify this sun energy. Clarify this energy. King of Swords. Yeah. Go figure. Coming out right next to rationality. So somebody, like I said, you know, they want to make it seem like you're dumb. You don't know how to think or you're not thinking straight or some shit like that. Saying, oh, you need to release this energy. All right. Yeah. The love is in the reverse here. All right. Strong Gemini energy, by the way. All right. Geminis, they do think, but they also have two sides of them. So, you know, with this love is energy coming out in the reverse, I'm getting like this is the bad side. <clears throat> All right. Somebody could also be saying that, oh, you need to release this lover is toxic, but whole time you're not even attached to no fucking body. All right. And I'm getting like it's a king of swords energy. Somebody saying, oh, you need to let that go. That relationship is done. It's over with. But it's like, bitch, the relationship been let go of. I'm not even dealing with anybody. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> You know, yeah, we got the Page of Cups here, the Queen of Cups here, the Three of Swords here, okay? So this could be somebody that you have a child with, okay? This is somebody that knows some sort of history that you have with somebody. But see, goes back to what I said in the message. What happens when your child go outside and tell the business that goes on at home? But you know what time it is, high priestess. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, you cannot make this shit up.
clarify freshness. Oh, you know, you need to let that go. You need to get out there and explore new things. Be ready for new. You know, leave the third party situations behind. It's like, bitch, what makes you think that I'm even entertaining third party situations, the fool in the reverse? Why they telling you take a leap? You like, I think not. That's not wise. You know, I'm taking my time. Not really looking. I'm focusing on other things that you have no fucking clue about. And it's really about me being about my business. All right. Strong Aries energy with the fool and the emperor here. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you being wise because you got shit that you manifesting, but they don't have no fucking clue. We got the queen of wands here. All right. They go that familiar energy waiting, right? But see, you standing guarded because you know what fucking time it is. I'm telling you. <laughs> Clarify. Clarify. Transformation. It's like when you really pay attention to some of these people talk, they don't be talking about shit. Empty talk, okay? We got the nine of wands here. Okay, so yeah, look, lovers. What I'm getting with the nine of wands and the lovers, you standing on business, okay? We got the five of wands here with the star, okay? I feel like you standing your ground. Somebody else is fighting over something here. You know, the lover's energy, this can also speak about a chosen energy. This is that Adam and Eve energy, all right? Matter of fact, I did a reading recently, all right, while I was talking about the fall, okay? Somebody's fall is the fact that they allowing themselves to be tempted. By whom? Possibly that fucking feminine energy I was just talking about last night. When you go read Revelation, it talks about the prostitute that sits on the beast. This woman, she got involved with a lot of different kings, you know. And you really have to understand that scripture to know exactly what it's talking about. Because <laughs> for some people, it's not different men. Star energy. This is the Samaritan woman. The woman that offered Jesus the water at the well. You know what I'm saying? So, let these people keep on fighting. While you understanding the spiritual warfare and you standing strong, you know what I'm saying? With the pancreas energy. That's what this death transformation is, okay? Matter of fact, let me read this energy. That's what I'm being guided to do. I need to hurry up too. All right. Yeah. Transform uh, transformation endings, the cluttering and pause. Okay. The pancreas is important in regulating blood sugar. sugar. All right. So I gave a message talking about the blood, blood sugar in the body and it's um, also secretes hormones and digestive enzymes. A healthy pancreas keeps the body in balance and all systems of the body rely on that harmony. Growth without end can be harmful to an organism such as in the case of cancerous cells. The aim should always be to attain, attain a happy medium away from extremes and this card encourages us to let go of what, no long, what is no longer helpful. This may require stillness and a pause um, in your activity to consider what is really happening in your life. Yeah. Going back to the other message that I gave. What is what is this? Why this keeps on happening, right? Yeah. I talked about this energy in that reading. Go watch that reading because I feel like it's for somebody. Okay. It says perhaps a retreat will give you the chance to consider your options and end what is harming you and your peace of mind. While people fear the death card as meaning the ultimate ending, it is not what it is implied here. That is not what is um, implied here. It is merely 
um, a transition or a transformation to another stage of life. A divorce can feel like a tragedy or a freeing release. A house move can feel like a sad ending or a bright new beginning. A child leaving home can feel empty and liberating or liberating. In truth, these transitions can be a bit of both, okay? But as long as you are kind to yourself and others, you will find it um, a, cat, a, a cathartic experience. <laughs> All right. So you take that how that resonates. But that still don't take away from what the fuck I just said. Understand that. Going back to the message my spirit guy gave me. Things have been hard to interpret or understand because you are the type to overshare even the de even little details that should be kept to yourself. You simplify the most complicated. It is I am that complicated it for a reason. He speaks a language only his children can understand. Clarify dominance. This dominance energy is going with these people who want to tame you. I told you. Two of Pentacles. What was I talking about in that message last night? The women, both of them, Delilah and his wife, going back and forth. You don't love me. Why you keep on making me look foolish, right? That's what these two women were saying, going back and forth with Samson. Why it is, why that, why it is, why that, day after day, nagging, 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 all right? So there's some sort of exchange going back and forth. But this dominance energy is the two of wands. The two of wands speaks about making a plan, right? So somebody already has a plan, they're going back and forth, trying to figure out how can they overthrow you, overpower you, okay? Tame you in some uh, some sort of way here, eight of wands, so that they can take that information and run with it. Uh-huh. This is a secret motive here with the moon. Yeah, because they want you in this energy. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it there, y'all. Y'all take these messages, how they resonate. I'm going to be coming out with some more um, messages sometime later on today. So y'all just stay tuned for that. And until next time, bye.